black and silver of Ryan Brawley, 23 years old, 12th outing. He's done so well tonight to keep his head, not let the aggression of his opponents, like Ben Murphy or the cut that was caused by Paul Holden, bother him. What can Stephen Burke do differently in the second session? Well, they should think about points. You cannot depend on worsening that injury. And he was forced onto the defensive there with that grit again. We're seeing from Brawley. I mean, but you can see him, he's just cocking that right hand all the time. It couldn't be any more obvious. Why doesn't he use his skills? Forget about the injury, just try to win this on merit. If he wins for an injury, it's fine. Loving the eye there as well from back. It's rough, it's tough. It's not pretty, but he's desperate to take the prize. And he's throwing everything at Brawley. See, Brawley is coping with the injury well because he is stepping in with his punches. He's a little bit reckless up close when he knows Burke is dangerous. But, but so obvious what his intentions are. And against the probably the most gifted boxer in the series, crazy tactics from Burke. Concentration, attention to detail from Ryan Brawley, sticking with his boxing. Heads banging together there. Just can't get himself into range, but simply because he's making it too obvious, you can actually see him cocking the right hand as he moves forward. Yeah, it's become desperation stuff, this, from Stephen Burke, last minute of the second round. 10-8 first session. See, a cool head, in Burke would have more chance of inflicting some damage. A cool head, using his skills, using some accuracy, not just bludgeoning forward. Good mini bit of action there, when the pair opened up. But Victor Lockland's got his work cut out, the referee, to keep the distance and range between the fighters. Michael Lomax had to suffer from injuries. He prevailed in the welterweights. Is Ryan Brawley heading the same way? The only pre-fight favourite to win prize fighter so far was Martin Murray in the middleweights. It's been a bit of a curse around the neck, but Brawley has boxed well. Your old mate. This has been an amazing night. Scrap your round because, uh, I mean, we couldn't really, we didn't see any clean cut boxing in that round. What we did see probably came from Brawley. But again, but so obvious with the tactics. We know what he wants to do, but I think he's put all his eggs in the one basket and I think it's possible to be a back to juice. Not many punches landed after two rounds, but Brawley with the advantage and the knockdown in the first. Eight to one on to take the trophy and the 25 grand is a smile. The cut's held up. Well done, Benny King. Ryan Brawley may be three minutes away from what would be a fantastic performance at the age of 23. Well, Brawley on my card finds himself in the position I predicted at the start of this one, get the first couple of rounds in the bank. The knockdown was a, a huge advantage for him. Now all he has to do is coast. And I don't see any way that the heads are rubbing in again here. Even if the cut opens now, I wouldn't expect the referee to call the doctor. Every punch is being cheered by the crowd. They may not have seen as glittering and as enthralling action as we've seen in Prize Fighter in the past, but there has been twists and turns tonight. You can't take your eyes off it, and Ryan Brawley has kept his concentration, Jim. Yeah, and no shortage of drama tonight either. And good defensive boxing in the corner there. He dropped his hands there, but all of it kept his head moving. And I just feel Buck has come out with a flash. Watch it on a beautiful shot from Brawley there. No, he hasn't put thought into it. He's looked to win an injury, and it's not working for him. It's backfiring. 
This idea of Stephen Burks. Clumsy, charging in, being picked off. They've got it wrong, haven't they, the corner? Yeah, well, I think they have learned from the McAllister. He, he came out and boxed defensively to try to get a couple of rounds behind them. But Brawley, to his credit, he's shown great character. He's come out straight away, got himself into the battle and just boxed as though there is no injury there. The one who's been more affected by the injury, I think, is Buck, who took all his eggs in the one basket, and it hasn't worked. And he's beginning to enjoy this. Ryan Brawley, a minute to go. And it's the two Scotsmen that have caught the eye tonight. Gary MacArthur's so unlucky to lose his unbeaten record on those cuts. But Ryan Brawley, well, he's keeping the Scots' dreams alive. On course to be prized for the championship. Yeah, it looks like he's not been allowed to work in this round. Full credit to Buck. He's giving everything here. I think he's actually going for the knockout now, as opposed to the eye damage, because I think he knows he's done the wrong thing. Oh, beautiful response from Brawley. Accuracy there from Ryan Brawley. As Buck came in, he's read the fight so well tonight, Ryan Brawley. Nothing particularly spectacular, but he's done a job every round. Fitness, focus, and 25 grand should be his. Yeah, and with his skills, if you tell him all you have to do is survive this round, he'll do that all night long. Yep, on my card, probably new prize fight for champion. Price fighter came north of the border, and the crowd believe. They have crowned one of their own. Tommy Gilmore has finally got a smile on his face. And you can see that, the quality to Brawley. Yep, and Buck making his intentions obvious against probably the most gifted boxer we have here tonight. Wasn't an easy job for Brawley. But he caught with us so well, showing great character. In the opening round, he had to come out and stamp his authority on the fight. Forget about the cut. If the cut opens, nothing you can do about it. But don't box defensively. And that was what a wonderful start. The knockdown gave him a 10 8 round. And look at the way he was putting punches together here. Dealt with the cut admirably, showed great character. Last round, a little bit scrappy because of the desperation coming. But look how obvious Burt was as he came forward lining up the right hand, which he was looking for all night long, which didn't come. Burke himself, I think, with that little tap, maybe knows where the prize fighter prize is going. At 23, Ryan Brawley has come of age. That's Jim's unofficial card, but surely the judges have got it to Brawley. Benny King, he will remember this night, and Ryan Brawley will be very grateful <laughs> to the master cutsman. Well, ladies and gentlemen, a thrilling final. Could you please show your appreciation for our finalist, tremendous spirit of the prize fighter. And now, the judges' scores. John Keane scores a contest 29-28. Terry O'Connor scores a contest 30-27. Dave Paris scores a contest 30-27. All three judges are in favour of the winner from Irvine, Scotland! It's Ryan Brawley! The sixth prize fighter champion, Ryan Brawley, by three, by three, by one, and rightly so.